While the security situation at Kabul airport remains fluid, earlier one Afghan guard was killed in a gunfight with unidentified attackers. We've got these pictures from the scene. We're told three others were injured. According to Reuters, the guards are former Afghan soldiers who are helping U.S. forces with security at the airport. There are 600 of them stationed there. The situation for civilians in many cases remains desperate. The airport is their only way out of Afghanistan. Thousands are arriving every day, although it may seem quiet in these pictures. We're told seven civilians have died in the chaos since the Taliban takeover. Some of them were trampled to death. For the latest, here's the BBC's Secunda Kamani, who's at the airport. It's crowded, filthy and baking hot. But desperate Afghans keep coming to Kabul airport. So many children in such a terrible place. This woman worked alongside German forces. She has documents proving it, but no permission to travel. I've been here with my kids for the past five days, waiting for the soldiers to look at my papers, she says. But I can't even take two steps in this crowd. Everywhere we go, people beg us for help, beg us for information. We're being just surrounded by dozens and dozens of people who are desperate to leave, showing us their documents. This chap worked with the Afghan security forces. This chap worked with at a foreign airfield. Someone else who worked with foreign forces, someone else has got other documents. Most of these people don't have permission to leave. Some of them do and still can't get through. Everyone is desperate to get out. Everyone is totally confused as to what to do.